Good morning, Chase Carr here at Tupelo, Mississippi, Southern Housing. It is a beautiful day today. This is the Julia by Deer Valley. It is actually a two-story, which we have finished out up top. Uh, it is a mod, so it's same financing and resale as site build. But guys, y'all come on in. I want to take y'all in and view this home, okay? As you can see, we walk into the living room as well as the kitchen. It is an absolutely beautiful home. Um, the things with mods, your differences that you get in these homes, of course, is same financing and, and resale as site build. You also get a lot of options that no other manufacturer would do. This, of course, has all kith cabinets, which are actual residential cabinets with self-closing drawers. You can customize any of your cabinets as far as colors your flooring, uh, exterior walls, as far as paints, uh, colors. Instead of a vinyl, you can go to a hardy board. It's 12 2 electrical wiring, architectural shingles, um, upgraded insulation in your floor, ceiling, and walls. Most mods are going to go to a 2 by 10 floor joist. Anything you would basically want to create your dream home, you can still achieve in any of their floor plans. Higher ceilings, of course, especially when you go to a pitch roof, which this is the actual 912 pitch roof, uh, so it's even bigger to achieve your second story. It comes unfinished, which is a, a good thing for most customers because you can still do whatever you would want on your second floor. But as you come into your master, it is a humongous, humongous master bath. Uh, big shower as well as a, a big tub. If you want a jacuzzi tub, you can actually still get one. Double vanities as well. Uh, they float your sheetrock as well as your four. Um, so this is LVT four and of course waterproof flooring. But you never see where these marriage walls come together so you don't have a transition piece like traditional manufactured homes. Of course, all cross windows as well which you can tell here, um, argon gas field, just basically you don't have condensation um, in, your, in your windows at all, so it's always a clear picture. Of course, you have your master off my right side and your kitchen off my back side here, as you can see. Two other guest bedrooms and then your laundry room as well. Um, but actually, I wanna take y'all to go upstairs where you can actually see an actual second floor of this home. We're doing this as a family room. This is actually uh, a tongue and groove type look that we did here. You can do anything you want to do. Like a, uh, it is plumbed uh, as well as your electric is ran up here. Uh, so if you ever had a contractor that you wanted to finish it out, you could. Before we go, I want to do a little quick walk around of the house and excuse me because the sun is bright. But as you can see how actual tall this house is. Of course they put a protective barrier or wood barrier on the outside so it, it keeps everything uh, as far as your vinyl intact and things of that nature but instead of doing a vinyl you can do a hardy board exterior which is termite resistant and fire resistant but it also carries a 30-year warranty so um, it's, it's another cool option that you could do. I've actually got one that we're going to go look at basically the same type two-story but a lot bigger this is actually a triple wide instead of a double wide um, two-story this is a triple wide two-story called the Williamson it's not finished up top but you're gonna enjoy it so y'all come on this way guys Chase Carr here in beautiful Tupelo Mississippi a house I had to show y'all the Williamson by Deer Valley. It's actually a special floor plan we built, has a similar back end as the Amon. Uh, 912 pitch roof, two story house. You could technically do it as a 10 bedroom home. This is coming into the back entrance. This is the Williamson. It's actually a special floor plan that we designed similar to the Amon back end, but a lot different on the front end as far as a lot bigger living room. This is actually a Trek deck, so it's a termite resistant. Uh, fireproof composite type board. Um, it's a little bit better stuff. So on mod standard, if they have porches, of course they're gonna have track deck instead of your OSB. It's got a humongous kitchen. So people that you know like to cook, this would be a perfect house for them. It's got the butcher block style island. 
and this actually has the Lazy Susan, which a lot of people like. Very, very heavy duty door hinges, um, are, and also our cabinet hinges, but also um, all wood residential self closing drawers, um, which are Kith cabinets. Another big thing you have water cutoffs at each sink. A lot of traditional mobile homes have one water cutoff, so if you have issues with water leaks or anything like that, you actually, wherever that water comes in, you have cutoffs. You have a whole house cut off as well. But as you can see, any place where that water comes in, sinks, tubs, showers, you'll have an actual cutoff for that water. You also have your shiplap and all your areas through here from your wall that goes into your master um, to basically right here. So it's an it's a option you don't have to have, but a lot of people like it um, just because it has that rustic type look and it's a, it's a pretty look. It's got the electric fireplace. Um, and it's even got a small desk area, so if somebody is trying to uh, work from home, it would be perfect for them. Some people don't want that, so I've actually done half baths there in this floor plan, um, and if you just wanted to delete it and add more square footage, you could. And as you look around, you also have the huge shiplap wall uh, similar to the Amon floor plan. Um, it, you don't have to do the darker wood, you can do a white ship blouse. Another thing, like I said, in, in the Julia too, you've got a transition piece where these two marriage walls come together. You don't see that on Deer Valleys. They float it, so you actually never will see where this home comes together. That's why a lot of people don't even believe once they're set up that they're manufactured homes because in a traditional manufactured home, you're gonna have a transition piece in your floor as well as in your ceiling. As you can tell here, you've got the wood beam here um, and as well as they, they put the flooring back so it all looks like one piece. Um, but again, this is the Williamson. This is a four bedroom, two bath. You can do it as a four bedroom, two and a half bath, four bedroom, three bath. If you're wanting bigger rooms, bigger closets, to switch up a little bit, you can still achieve that with Deer Valley. This has a big master bath as well. As you can see, and I'll let Eric come in here and look, but this thing is humongous. You could literally hold a swim party in here, and I'm not even kidding. Um, you've got the rainforest shower head as well as the shower rack, but just to show you how big this thing is, I mean, I, you literally could put eight people as long as they were decent sized people. It's like a jet wash in there, man. You have your wand you can take off, and then of course you have your rainforest shower head. You can actually design you know, your shower sort of how you want to as far as your color of your tiles, different things like that. Basically in Deer Valley, they're just, everything's better built. Um, built similar to any type site built home, your better doors, better handles, um, as far as on your cabinets and your doors. Um, all um, pex plumbing throughout the house as well. But if you want to show them the closet too, because that thing is humongous. And as we come back off of our kitchen, you have your guest bedrooms and then you have your utility off your backside here. But just to show you, they're big bedrooms. If you technically wanted to put a king in here, you could. Um, as well as a queen, whatever. Uh, one of the bedrooms is a little bit smaller, but if you were building this floor plan, you can still do literally anything you want. So you can make bedrooms bigger, uh, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. All of these have adequate closet sizes. All of these are not the wire type shelving, it's the better type shelving, um, which the wire shelving is nothing's wrong with it. It's just, this is a little bit of an upgrade. I mean, guys, it's basically just like a site-built home. Um, nobody would ever tell a difference if you were to buy one just because they're built with quality. It's got a humongous utility room area. Um, of course, if you want to do a sink here, you could, whatever the case may be. With a mod, you have 12-2 electrical wiring, so it's just like a site-built home. Another thing I like to show people, because I've had this questions asked, I've sold a lot of RSOs or retail sold orders, special ordered homes. If you decide later on that you have something you want to run to your box, they have tabs that you can knock out. They have everything labeled as two. Um, they have to go to a 2018 IECC Energy Efficiency Certificate. Unlike the Julia, 
it actually has a wider area because it's built a little bit different when you're coming up the stairs. The, the other one's a little bit shorter for a tall guy like me. It's a little bit harder because you have to turn. But see, this is open so you can sort of see the type of insulation. Um, this is, has a tech shield which keeps your attic 30 degrees cooler. Of course, heat rises. Um, so it, it makes a big difference because a lot of people are gonna do what they want to up here as far as bedrooms, playrooms, whatever the case may be. This is unreal how big this is. It's a four bedroom, two bath downstairs, but you could literally turn this thing into a 10 bedroom home easily um, just because of the space you actually have up here. I mean, once finished out up top, you're gonna have over 4,500 square feet, livable square feet. And, and I'm gonna get him to get you a shot of outside just to show you how tall we actually are and how big of a house this is. So as we come outside, you actually come into a front porch area. You've got, of course, your cypress type shutters. So this is a hardy board front. Of course, it has vinyl on the exterior, but you can still do hardy board, uh, which is termite resistant, fire resistant, 30 year warranty, architectural shingles, the huge cypress post, front end, I, I don't know of anybody that has a front end of a home like this or that Deer Valley builds. Um, another thing, you know, if y'all have any questions or concerns or want to ask me anything, I'll leave my email in my description of YouTube. Uh, but guys, I hope y'all enjoy this. A big thanks to EAE Productions, Eric Ewing for helping me. Uh, one of my good friends, but also very, very good with videos. Any wedding videos, any video needs you might need contact him because he'll hook you up. Thank y'all and I hope y'all enjoy this.